rectangles J and Q are similar. The length of each side of the Q rectangle is 11 times the length of the corresponding side on the J rectangle. The area of the J rectangle is 88 square units. What is the area of the Q rectangle? So what's nice is there's going to be a very uh, systematic way to solve this, and we can even use this for the much harder three-dimensional objects. When we want to use this is whenever you have uh, two similar geometric shapes. Um, again, this is a two-dimensional one, so it's a little bit easier, but we can apply it to the three-dimensional shapes as well. So I go down below and I list my two shapes. Uh, we'll call it J and Q. We're going to have a ratio number between the two. And then on the left here, we're going to have a comparison of their lengths, a comparison of their areas. If it was three-dimensional, this would be surface area. And also, if it was three-dimensional, we would have a third tier of volume, right? So what's nice is uh, off to the side here, we'll kind of do the basics. Uh, your ratio number is going to be what we multiply your smaller shape by to get to your bigger shape. So for lengths, you just multiply by your ratio number. For areas, you multiply by your ratio number squared. And for your volumes, you multiply by your uh, ratio number raised to the third. So our ratio number here is kind of nice. They, are, they tell us, right? Normally they would say like, well, Q is 200 and J is 10. You would divide those to get your ratio number. But they already told us it's 11 times the size. So we can kind of ignore this part. Our ratio number is 11 for the length. So that's just R. For area, which is what we want to solve for, we do 11 squared. So 11 squared is going to be what we multiply by J to get to Q. So they have to give us one of these. They do give us that J is 88. So all I have to do is 88 times 11 squared, and you should get 10,648 here.